What happened? Well, there I was. Driving along my high lakes, off roading over this mountain, through a valley, in the middle of a cyclone, which caused a flood and triggered a landslide. So I finally get to this volcano, it's perched right on the edge of a cliff. Now I know what you're thinking, but to hang on to your steak and cheese, mate, because this is where it got interesting. From out of nowhere, the biggest wild boar I've ever seen in my life. Flames pouring out of his nostrils. He had full body armor on, two rocket launchers on his back like commando. He's riding this massive motorcycle and getting himself airbrushed on the fuel tank by this crazy looking chimpanzee. And that old fruitcake, he looked me right in the eye and he demanded an ice cream. So here I am. Hokey pokey! The new 500S, tested for bad boys. Kids, don't play with the scorpion. Honey, we're out of coffee. Got it. Forget something? George? Dodge is a powerful vehicle that affects the chemicals in the brain which may give you the feeling of immortality. Dodge is not recommended for individuals who have strong ties to social networks or are obsessed with mobile games. You should not use Dodge if you are allergic to adrenaline, endorphins, burnouts, or freedom. Dodge is highly addictive. Even one test drive of Dodge may lead to irreversible changes in your life. Dodge has been known to make the voices in your head louder and has the ability to shift perceptions and burn bridges. Dodge may impair your ability to obey the rules and respect social conventions. People with gluten intolerance, political aspirations, or lack of self-control should use caution when operating Dodge. Do not use Dodge if you are pregnant or do not want to get pregnant. Dodge may cause loss of inhibitions and in 
some cases bodily functions. Side effects include shortness of breath, increased blood flow to the genitals, and angry neighbors. Dodge has been known to frighten wild animals and show dogs in equal measure. Dodge Brothers Motor Company is not responsible for any decisions made behind the wheel of Dodge. Consult physician, psychiatrist, and the Holy Trinity before driving Dodge. Consider yourself warned. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! <laughs> I'm a good fairy, and I grant you three wishes. Three steps aside, please. Listen up, V-Dub in the house. Jason, this is your 98 Fatima call it. You got an F. You know what we're gonna do now? No. Unpimp your auto. We just dropped it like it's hot. V-Dub, representing Deutschland. The Volkswagen GTI, pre-tuned by German engineers. Yo, V-Dub got Mike in the house. What's up? And he's tricked out Vip. What does this do? It sucks in air. It's definitely sucking. Yo, Mike, you want us to unpimp this thing? Let me hear you say, what? What? V-Dub holding it down on the engineering tip, y'all. Yeah. The Volkswagen GTI, pre-tuned by German engineers. V-Dub here in full effect with Trey and his ride. It looks like it could fly. What time is it? I don't know. Time to unpimp the auto. Oh, snap! German engineering in the house, yeah. The Volkswagen GTI, pre-tuned by German engineers. for takeoffs. It's time to destroy the bad guys. Over. Where's your plane? Cars don't fly! The Optima does. It's got a high-tech cockpit and a turbocharged engine. Over. Don't have to keep saying over. Over. You're supposed to be in a jet, like those guys! You see, the bad guys are expecting me to be in a fighter jet. Not a mid-sized sedan. I'll fly in under the radar. No, 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 over! Okay, we're gonna go with the car. Kind of works. Ready for action? Let's bake this cake. We all have a choice. We can either be sheep 
or shepherds. And then there's a big bad wolf. He eats sheep. Welcome to the Brotherhood of Muscle. Why do we work so hard? For what? For this? For stuff? Other countries, they work, they stroll home, they stop by the cafe, they take August off. Off. Why aren't you like that? Why aren't we like that? Because we're crazy, driven, hard-working believers, that's why. Those other countries think we're nuts. Whatever. We're the Wright brothers insane? Bill Gates, Les Paul, Ali. Were we nuts when we pointed to the moon? That's right. We went up there, you know what we got? Bored. So we left. Got a car up there, left the keys in it. Do you know why? Because we're the only ones going back up there, that's why. But I digress. It's pretty simple. You work hard, you create your own luck, and you gotta believe anything is possible. As for all the stuff, that's the upside of only taking two weeks off in August. Nespa?